What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be the first video I make in terms of Beyond Light prep. I know a bunch of these videos are going around, but I wanted to cover some areas that I think are really critical for both veteran and new players alike to have ready for when that new expansion comes out in November. So we'll focus on things like materials, weapons, loadouts, etc. And the first video I want to make here is surrounding mod components. Now, these are a bit easier to get than they were in the past. It used to be tough to come by these, but no matter what, you're going to want to have a nice amount of mod components to acquire all the best mods here in the last couple weeks of the season of arrival. So there are some really good mods that Banshee has. There are some really good mods that you can get from the Drifter and the Prismatic Recaster. And even Ada One has some mods as well that are really beneficial. And all of those, you need mod components to purchase. So let's take a look at some of the best ways of getting these and also, too, some ways you can farm them once you've exhausted some of the more common ways of getting them. So, first guy we want to talk to is Banshee. And the cool thing is, Banshee now has some really good mods and, or I'm sorry, it has some really good bounties that used to not be available. So, no doubt, no doubt you want to pick up the weekly bounties. These will give you upgrade modules, which are going to be really important. But our focus is on mod components. And no doubt the best way of getting these or the most reliable way will be by doing the daily bounties that banshee has so these are typically very easy to get done honestly before you jump into anything you want to grab all the daily bounties that banshee has and then when you're doing things like your vanguard strikes and all those kind of activities you can easily get them these bounties and the vanguard or crucible ones as you're playing those different playlists so i'm going to go ahead and buy these i'm not going to do them now but you can see here they're pretty easy. It's getting sniper rifle kills, it's getting sword kills, things that you use pretty much anyway. So these are gonna be really useful. Not only do they give you XP, but you get two mod components and you also get an enhancement core. So this will be a nice way of getting those and I'll cover enhancement cores in a later video in this series. So grab all four of these. These are gonna be really, really good. The additional bounties do not give you mod components. They only give you random objectives, but even still, these will give you eight total each day if you do these four bounties. Now, that may seem like a lot, but when you consider the fact that the two bounties that Banshee sells cost 10 each, you can see here that once you want to start buying all these, the cost can go up pretty, pretty high. And that's not even factoring in the bounties that the Drifter has and the bounties that Ada One has. Those are not quite, quite as expensive when it comes to the Drifter. They only cost three mod components each. But still though, when you start trying to buy all of these, the cost goes up. So what are some additional ways to get mod components once you've done all of your daily bounties? Luckily, there's some things you can do right here in the tower that are gonna give you some mod components. Now, if I look here at my weapons, you can, guys can see here I have nine of the same auto rifle, I have nine of the same shotgun, and I have nine of the same rocket launcher. These I pulled directly from my collections. Whenever you break down any blue in this game, you have a chance of getting a mod component. Now, it's not a very high chance, but it's a chance nonetheless. And when I break down these auto rifles and shotguns and rocket launchers, I should get at least one or two mod components from them. So I'm going to go ahead and break these down right now. Hopefully, we get some good things in return. Right now, each one I break down is giving me back two gunsmith materials and 125 glimmer. That comes in handy here in a minute. But I did just get one mock component from that. So you can see here that by doing this method, yes, it's a bit monotonous, and I would recommend doing the bounties because you're playing the game, actually. But if you do need a couple mod components to maybe just get enough to buy a mod that Banshee's selling or Drifter is selling, etc., you can utilize this method of acquiring blues from your collection and breaking those down and roughly one out of ten, one out of eight, somewhere around there turns into a mod component as well. So this will be a way that you can pretty much, you can get unlimited mod components from this. Now there is a cost associated with it and I'll go over that in a second once I break down these rocket launchers, but the cost is very minimal and you recoup part of that cost when you break these down. To buy these blues, it costs you glimmer and gunsmith materials. And it looks like from these 27 that I had, I got back three mod components. So it's roughly one out of every nine that you get. For every stack you get, 
you're going to get one mod component. Now I got those from my collections and if I look here you can go into your weapons and you want to focus on grabbing blues but you want to be more specific if you can you want to grab blues that come from an adventure. So if you look here at the source it says from the adventure Thief of Thieves on Titan. These blues are not quite as good. Any of this say earned while leveling. While these will give you mod components you get back less in return. So to demonstrate that I'm going to go ahead here and grab this auto rifle and then we'll grab the Lionheart. This is the one I had nine of that I broke down. So I'm going to grab these. The cost is the same. To acquire these two weapons the cost is 250 glimmer and three gunsmith materials. Both of those are easy to get. But you'll notice here that when I break down these two weapons, the adventure sourced blue gives me back two gunsmith materials and 125 glimmer, which is awesome. It's giving me back two out of three of the gunsmith materials I used and half a glimmer. But if I break down this one, that is just a random blue drop, it only gives me back 100 glimmer and one gunsmith material. So to make the most out of this method, you want to grab blues that are sourced from adventures. And there's a few options. You probably have done some of these. But worst case scenario is you don't have, for instance, the Lionheart available. At that point, just bite the bullet and grab these. It's still going to give you mod components, but just not as much materials back. But try to grab things that are sourced from adventures. So, for instance, here, Lionheart is a good auto rifle. If I looked here at my energy weapons or special weapons, you guys saw that I grabbed this shotgun. This is from the Dark Alliance adventure. Conversely, you can see here that I don't have this one done. This is a harsh language grenade launcher. You can get this from no safe distance. So check your weapons here and try to grab ones that are from adventures. Those will give you back more materials and they will give you roughly one mod component for every stack that you get. So it's really easy to get mod components this way. Again, I would recommend doing the bounties first. I mean, honestly, you want to be playing the game as much as you can, as opposed to just staying in the tower. But if you are running short, just a handful of short, you can use this method to get a couple mod components, and that will give you just enough to buy these here from Banshee. Again, he has some really good mods. Sometimes he's selling, for instance, he'll, sometimes he'll sell the Powerful Friends mod. I think I have that equipped on one of my armor pieces here. You can, you can find the Lucent Blade mod from the Drifter. I had that equipped on my chest piece right now. Make sure you grab all of those mods that you can. They all cost mod components. Hopefully this video is helpful, guys. If it was, hit the like button, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. Thank you guys very much. Anybody who's made it this far in the video, thank you so, so much for watching. It means the world to me. I appreciate everybody immensely. And best of luck in your last couple weeks here for the arrival season. I'll see you guys soon. See you.